I'm Jamie Hooper with Remax Crest and jamiehooper.com and today we're going to take a little trip down memory lane and go back and see the history of the Greater Vancouver real estate market between 1994 and 2019 and then we might even speculate a little on where the market's going. So as I said in the introduction, we're going to go back the last 25 years and just quickly talk about what's happened in the market uh, since then and then where we might be going over the next uh, short term future, the, the short term future here. So between 1994 and 2001, real estate markets in Greater Vancouver were pretty darn quiet. The rest of North America was booming economically and real estate wise and BC was being held back. We uh, didn't have a lot going going on in the province and at the risk of getting political, the political climate wasn't really stable. So it didn't look real appealing and that combined with the exodus of the Hong Kong Chinese uh, in 1997 really had an effect on the market until we got up to about 2001. So in 2001, two things happened to drastically influence our real estate market. In May of 2001, we had a government, provincial government change for the first time in 10 years. Literally within a week, the phone started ringing off the hook and the markets got a heck of a lot busier and continued to go straight up until about 2008 where we uh, um, became victims of the US banking crisis. From approximately mid-2008 till mid-2009, the markets were not very good. Uh, they came to pretty much a grinding halt, but then uh, as things started to recover, they went uh, again, came back and uh, pretty much went straight up till 2016. There was a little hiccup uh, between 2012-ish. 12, 12 there was a little hiccup for about a six to 12 month period, but straight up for the rest of that time. In 2016, the provincial government started coming through with their taxations on foreign buyers, with foreign buyers taxes, empty home taxes, increased um, property transfer taxes, et cetera, et cetera. That has been, so for the last three years, the detached housing market around the city has not been very exciting at all. The condo market remained pretty strong for the next two years until the middle of last year when they started to slow down. So what's happened around here the last 12 months, which certain people, which a lot of people don't know, the lower ends of the markets are still pretty busy. It's the higher ends of the market that are just absolutely dead and, and very difficult to sell your home. But for a lot of people in, in certain parts of the city, in certain parts of the market, they are still sellers markets. And that's something that a lot of people don't know about. So from there, where's this market going to go? So here's four interesting things that I know that could actually help this market pick up over the next few months and through the last half of the year. Number one, there's a possibility of lower interest rates again. The Bank of Canada, I've been reading some things, saying that there could be some more interest rate relief within the next 60 to 90 days. It's also a federal election year. Now, a lot, I'm not trying to get political here, but apparently a lot of millennials don't vote. And what the uh, either party, I don't know which one, but one of them's probably going to grab this and run with it, saying that they'll do some easing of the stress test, which would be uh, a big bonus for the millennials in helping to qualify for their purchases. So uh, watch for that, because I bet it'll be on somebody's platform, if not both the major parties' platforms. The third thing is, is pent-up demand. A lot of people have been waiting now for a year, a year and a half, two years to buy a property because they're waiting for the market to bottom out. So the one thing I always like to tell people is, you know, don't wait too long because there's only one way to tell when a market's bottom. How do you know when the market's bottom? When it's on the way back up. So I'm not... I'm not saying these things are going to happen, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did. So even this summer could be the time when you see the bottom of the market hit if some of these things come through. The last thing I want to talk about 
is the political situation in Hong Kong. There's a lot of unrest over there right now over various things that I'm sure most of you have been reading about. But the very interesting thing is 300,000 citizens whole in Hong Kong hold Canadian passports. It would take nothing for them to move back here where with, uh, they don't have to pay the foreign buyers tax either. So this could really give a jump start to the market for the later half of this year if all of these things came through. So I'm Jamie Hooper with Remax Crest and jamiehooper.com. Hopefully you found this information useful. If you did, please click the subscribe button or make a comment down below or hit the thumbs up. And we'll look forward to talking to you again soon.